Thank you for your invitation. I am Nozomi, a SIP scientist working on gender. Today, I and my colleague Saramayanja would like to talk about gender to you. Let's have a critical gender lens. By the end of this presentation, you will see the world differently. The world without a critical gender lens looks like this. Here, we use general terms such as farmers that are automatically linked to male farmers. The world with a critical gender lens pay attention to difference, diversity, and power dynamics in the value chain actors. Why gender matters? Because gender is an underlying cause of poverty. Without a gender lens, the rich become richer and the poor become poorer. Poor farmers often have problems in family, such as domestic violence, a drunk husband, divorce or separation. Capitalist economy not only reproduce the poor, but also reinforce gender gaps. In the process of commercialization, women are likely to lose their positions in the value chain. Now, we show some examples. Women are often concentrated in informal value chains. They often exchange sheet with friends and sell in local market. They do processing by themselves in local systems and uh, use vines for animal feeding. Why women are concentrated? Because informal market provides safe space for women. However, men typically displace women when their activities become profitable. So when sweet potato was local varieties, no problem. But when it's introduced improved varieties, then men are likely to take over women's jobs. Another example is that even though your project targeted women as beneficiaries, their husband may take over. So during the training, women learn new things. Wow, I learned a new technology. But after the training, this is mine. You should do housework. This can easily happen. Also, poor women are invisible in commercial value chains. So commercial value chains often look like male dominated. Why? Because poor women, young women, and young men are often working behind the formal value chain. It is so-called adverse inclusion instead of exclusion. So they are concentrated on hard labor, tough working environment, casual and seasonal employment, low wage, engaging in washing, partial peeling, or cooking is the hardest part of value chain. So our role is to improve this part, not establishing uh, the big value chain systems and leave it for capitalist economy. Poor women are less likely to benefit from expensive, high quality product sold in supermarket. I ask a question to you, where do poor women buy food? What size of bread can poor women afford if you want to improve nutritional intake, vitamin A deficiencies? Then that you need to reach poor women because they are most needed. Let's look at research results on gender you may be shocked. So we ask a question of how do you spend your time to farmers? 
So this is the result from Vietnam. Women often sleep two hours less and work four hours more than men. The time spent on agriculture is more or less the same. I have similar results from other countries worse than this. What this means? So if you want to support women, labor and time-saving technologies are required for women because they have a massive constraint on time and labor. Another question we ask to farmers, uh, what are major constraints to agricultural innovation? Across the world, there is a big difference between men and women on their perceptions about constraints. So men typically say that lack of capital, lack of market, lack of guarantee for purchasing prices. But women across the world say that their constraints are disagreement of their husband. They want to do something new things, but husband disagree. Well, they don't have time and labor shortage. Also, they have a fear of failure that they might be criticized by their husband. In our project, we often that don't address women's constraints and only look at this part. So you are automatically supporting men. So this is an example of Malawi from Malawi on sweet potato storage. Uh, which technology do women like and why? For sweet potato storage, one is pit storage, another one is hot storage. What do you think? The answer is women like pit storage because to build a hot storage, male labor and money are required. As a result, men can say, sweet potato are mine because I made this storage. Okay. Are you still following me? Now you review your project with a gender lens. So I ask you, what is your project's goal? What do you want to change? Who benefit from your project? Please remember, that the issue of poverty is not about lack of production, but about an equal distribution. Are you targeting production-oriented goals or distribution-oriented goals? Also, please put a critical gender lens everywhere, from team composition, budget, goal setting, data collection, intervention design, evaluation. Your evaluation should be who benefit from the project, not farmer in general, but who are the farmers who benefited from your project. Have you got a gender lens? Now you will take a test. Are you ready? Please read this success story with your critical gender lens and identify words that require information on gender. Let's read together. Farmers, okay? Farmers used to grow local sweet potato for home consumption and sell them in a local market. The new project decided to support farmers to produce orange fresh sweet potato to sell to a puree company. The Farmer Association formed a sweet potato group in which farmers got training from the project. This group was then connected to a seed supplier and trader. Farmers, farmers significantly increased incomes from sweet potato production. Did you identify words? You cannot use the term, general term farmers anymore. Okay. Specify who are farmers. Specify who are value chain actors. So let's read 
that the success story with a critical gender lens story may be very different. Okay, let's read together. Women farmers used to grow local sweet potato for home consumption and sell them in a local market. The new project decided to support both women and men farmers to produce orange fresh sweet potato to sell to a pure company. The farmer association formed a sweet potato group with men and women. This group was then connected to a male seed supplier and a male trader. Male farmers had better access to seed and agricultural input and significantly increased incomes from sweet potato production. Many other male farmers started to grow orange fresh sweet potato while women shifted to other less competitive crops. So critical gender lens helps identify who benefited and why. And we can target distribution-oriented goals to address issue of poverty. I have some recommended references. Please have a look at if you are really interested in gender. This is my last slide. My last message is that a critical gender lens is a weapon to transform agriculture for the poor, both women and men. Let's work together to change the world. Asante ni sana. Thank you.